everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. It is time for another Featured Friday. This is when I show you guys something interesting in the field, a hand sample, a feature, a geo feature. And then I give you guys the fun of trying to identify what it is before I eventually reveal what it is. So today, this is what we have for our feature. Um, we have, and I know it's kind of a little later than usual that I'm bringing you the Featured Friday, and that is because I'm in the field right now, and I don't have service at the locality that I'm checking out. I'm getting some new content for you guys here at Let's Go Geo, but a lot of these places don't have service, so that means if you are seeing this timely, then I'm probably going to have to walk around these mountains and go to some high points, see if I can find some service. So if you're seeing this on time, then I was successful in finding service, but anyway... Regardless, you are going to see this eventually, and this is our featured item for today. So if you take a look at this, there's a lot of boulders around here where I'm at. You can see all over. Those are some smaller ones. They're sort of eroded out all over the place. So let's focus on this one. Uh, this is our feature. Do you know what this is? All you really have to do for today is identify what kind of rock is this? And I can tell you this is sort of on theme with uh, last week's featured Friday. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I have a whole playlist that has all the featured Fridays in it. So you can kind of go through and test yourself and see how well you do. And if you really want to, you can drop your score in the comments and compare with your fellow geo people. So this is our thing today. This is uh, what type of rock is this? So I'll give you some, some views of it and then point out a few things before I tell you so I can make sure to give you enough time to make a guess and drop it in the comments. So check this out. Big boulder here. What do we have? Now, I can tell you one thing. Be a little careful here because there's stuff on it, right? So that's not the rock. That's pieces of the tree, pine. Uh, there's lichens. This is coming off there. You can see this. That's a lichen. This is lichen. So that's not part of the rock. That's not, you know, like uranium or something, the bright yellow. <laughs> These are uh, lichens. Probably some pretty old lichens here, that green those are also lichens so be mindful of that but otherwise underneath the lichens who are nicely uh picking this rock apart you can see it's eroding out so and i can peel that off sort of yeah the lichens will dig down and help break this up so here's your view of the rock okay so first identify the type of rock and if you know anything else about it go ahead you can put that in the comments as well let's see how specific we can be but in order to be correct just get the right type of rock and i'm talking we know there's three types of rocks right so can you get which of the three types of rocks this is that's all you have to do we can get a little more specific here in a second so last week we talked about a specific type of igneous rock okay so that's what we have today as well this is an, an igneous rock if now what type of igneous rock do we have that's your lesson for or that's your challenge for today if you can identify what type of igneous rock we have uh we we looked at a rock last last featured friday and it was similar in some ways to this one and in another sense it's the opposite of this one so those are your hints that I can give you so far without uh, saying too much. So last week's rock, kind of similar, but also the opposite. What does that mean? Well, it was similar to this one in chemistry to some extent. It's made up of similar stuff. There are similar minerals in these. But physically, it's different. Physically, the crystals are different and the way that it forms is different. And that is because what we have here today is an intrusive igneous rock. And last week we had an extrusive igneous rock. And the hints stop there. So if you haven't already put your guess in the comments, go ahead and stick it down there. And then let's go into the details. Okay, so what we have today, if you haven't already identified it, this is the simplest thing to call this is a granite. We have a granite today. It's a type of intrusive igneous rock. And again, intrusive and extrusive, these terms just tell us something about how the rock formed. This would have cooled in below the surface as, it, as opposed to last week's feature, which would have been extruded 
volcanically. So last week's feature was more ash material, whereas this one has these larger crystals that have formed in here that have that was cooled magma. And you can see those crystals that have formed. Okay, so that's classic for granite. Now, it does get a little trickier if you really want to be picky and identify um, types of igneous rocks. There is variety when it comes to granites. And you can say that, in a sense, there's kind of different types of granites or different types of extrusive, or intrusive igneous rocks. And let me just point out a few of those. We'll go in way more detail eventually here at Let's Go Geo. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that. But just for some examples, let's look at these pieces. They're sort of broken up more and we can um, differentiate, right? So here's some different things that are similar, but uh, different pieces of igneous, of intrusive igneous rock that I have here. Um, not this one, let's throw that one out. Uh, but I went around and I gathered, this is all eroded material from this area. So similarly, this is intrusive igneous rocks, but you can see the difference, right? There's difference in basically the colors and the patterns. Um, so if they're all similar, why such differences? My shadow, the sun comes out here. Um, so we can get different minerals basically in it, right? So if it can get a little darker, in this case, you see that kind of peppery look, it's darker. Probably because of inclusions of ferromagnesian minerals like biotite. This looks like it has a lot more biotite in it than, say, our other example. And then this one is maybe more of a classic granite, I'd say. But it's definitely more rich in feldspar minerals. And some of these that are lower in quartz and maybe a little higher in feldspar, we'd call them a cyanite rather than just a granite. Um, this also has kind of that look to it. But this even has something else interesting going on because this looks zoned, which is more on the lines of a pegmatite. So pegmatites give us much larger crystals. So lots of things to talk about. This one also has that darker tone, but it's also a reddish, maybe from hematite and a lot of feldspar in those pinkish hues. So like I said, lots of things to talk about when it comes to granites and interest of igneous rocks. And we will cover that here at Let's Go Geo. But today, if you said igneous and if you said a granite, you were correct, and if not, stay along for the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo, and we will learn and have lots of awesome adventures. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.